Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I do my super, super simple and natural looking audition makeup. I think I've mentioned this in a video or so. I'm an actress, so I go on some auditions, not as many as I would like, but I sort of mastered the basic, natural looking uh, audition makeup, if you will. Now, a couple things. This is just my take on it. I'm com This is the level of makeup that I feel comfortable going to an audition wearing. It's really all about your level of comfort. If you feel comfortable wearing less makeup, power to you. If you feel comfortable wearing more makeup, that's totally fine. This is just what I like to do, and uh, so maybe it can help some people, but it's definitely not right for everyone. And uh, when it comes to going to auditions, I tend to think that natural is better. I like to sort of show the casting director or whoever's running the audition that I am like a blank slate and that they, to help them to sort of envision me as the character. Of course, there are like girl with the dragon tattoo scenarios where you want to go dressed more to the character's specific attributes. This is just uh, the makeup I do when I want to showcase my best slash most natural self at an audition. So um, if you're interested, uh, stay tuned. Put your hair up. Don't even pretend like you do your makeup with your hair down. Don't even pretend. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face. So you know the drill. Just prime where you need. I sort of just need like here, here, and then I like to do it on any little blemishes that I have, like especially because I just feel like it makes your concealer last better. Next, I like to do some sort of under eye treatment because I've got like really bad dark circles. So next I'm going to do some foundation. I don't always wear foundation, but for auditions I always wear foundation just because you want to look your best you. Just... Oh, and the way I do my foundation is probably kind of weird. I tilt, I like put it onto the brush and I squeeze it and I just sort of like, I don't know. You probably... Yeah, there you go. You can you can sort of see what I do. And then I just do like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I don't really count, but I don't know. I just sort of dot it all over my face because I feel like this gets the most even distribution. And then I just go to town and I blend like a mad woman. No, but seriously, I just blend the crap out of it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I am sorry for my appearance. It's like actually 100 degrees in my apartment. <laughs> no joke, I'm gonna go wash this off like immediately after filming this tutorial. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and I'm really gonna perfect my skin. I like to use like a very light coverage foundation, so I need to do a little bit more concealing. If you use a heavier coverage foundation, maybe you don't need to do any concealing or maybe you just have perfect skin and you don't have to do any concealing ever in which I hate you. So, I'm going to be using a illuminating under eye concealer, and I'm just going to blend that in. And then I just like to bring it down my nose a little bit. You know, if I was British, I could say that I'm going to go back and cover my spots. So, I think that's what I'm going to say. Using my Kat Von D tattoo concealer and a little, um, Stipply brush. It's like it's an any weeny baby version of my foundation brush. It's so cute. Okay, so um, I just squeeze a little bit on, and then, like I know I've got a pretty bad pimple right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just stamp it on, and this is like I don't know. I like to think of this as my very own patented method because I've rarely seen anyone put do this, but this is what I do. So I just like stamp it on and I really only do this if I do have an audition or like I'm working or something because it can't be good to like take an existing pimple and like literally shove stuff into it but desperate times people. <laughs> so this next step is uh, something that I've also patented. No I'm just kidding. Um, this is something I've been doing for ages. What I do is I take the same brush, <clears throat> I clear my throat. And then I do this, I just follow up by stamping right over 
where I put my concealer with the powder foundation. It works quite nicely. Now, for an audition, oftentimes, as you probably know, or maybe you don't, they will record you. So I say that it's safe to go a little heavier on the blush than normal so you don't look washed out. So I'm going to use this nice bright color. It's probably a bit much actually. It is called Flushed and it is by Tarte. You know, it's one of those Amazonian clay whatevers that everybody's got. And I'm just going to swirl and just swirl it on. Since I have the time and um, let's pretend I'm going on a really important audition, I'm not. But if I was, I would probably do a little contouring. So I'm going to take my uh, NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer, which I have to be honest, I'm not like totally in love with, but um, it's fine. And I'm going to use the same brush. You could use a different one, but I'm going to use the same one. And I'm going to contour just a little bit. So as you can see, my eyebrows are a hot mess. So. I don't really want to draw any attention to them because they are like completely two different shapes at the moment. I'm working on it. <laughs> I would rather just keep them in place a little bit with a brow gel and not draw more attention to them by trying to like pencil them in and correct the shape because I, uh, I, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> okay, so pretend I have primed. My go-to for neutral eye makeup is the, uh, that's upside down. <laughs> the Naked Palette, but I think today I'm going to really just mix it up and go crazy. I'm going to use this little, um, stop it, nobody cares, this little uh, Revlon Cream Eyeshadow Palette. It's in the color, or the shades, not just nudes, 701. I really like this little product. I think that's pretty great. As you can see, I really only use this color. <laughs> just my lids. I am not a proponent of, like, covering the whole area. And I'm just going to take Naked, this, you know, very light brown color, and put it in my crease. Now, I'm going to curl my lashes. This is probably, like, the most important thing you can do. Do some mascara. Right now I'm using the, ooh, what is it, the teleco telecospic, <laughs> the telescopic explosion mascara. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I think it makes my eyelashes, like, a little bit clumpy. And again, just like my biggest tip is keep it natural. It's my biggest tip. Okay, so that's that's all I'm gonna do. I totally forgot the powder. My mind is somewhere else. Okay, I like the um, what is this called? Bare Minerals Translucent Touch Up Veil. I don't. Um, wear powder in my everyday life because oh, I really don't need it but for an audition just in case there's studio lights or just in case like anything I'll feel a little bit better if I've powdered you know if I have to run for the subway or something and I get all sweaty at least I powdered so what was I saying before oh yeah lipstick um I just like to put on a very light like wash of something so honestly my favorite thing to wear on my lips is regular old chapstick and a little swipe of this the l'oreal color Riche, um cherry tool 179 it's um it's pretty it's like a that doesn't help you at all it's like a bricky red but it's like the sheerest thing on the planet but it's like so pretty and it just like picks me up so uh this is the final look I, uh, I uh, don't even really want to call it a look just because it's really not a look, but um, this is the finished makeup, I guess, is what I'll say. And if you want to see more videos uh, like this, uh, I would subscribe if I were you. And it would mean the world to me if you would go over to my other channel, which is called Ox City, and subscribe to that channel because I do more like funny comedy and also like life videos. And uh, I'll link it in the down bar and maybe, like, rot her. So uh, if you could check out that channel, that'd be really cool. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.